What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to delete rows based on a list of values. So let's get into it. All right, on the left, I've got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got um, some stock data. And what we're gonna do is uh, create a list on this tab that, we used, um, that we're gonna use to delete rows. So the list will contain, let's go with uh, different industry so this industry column so we're gonna take this industry column let's copy it paste it here and now let's go to data remove duplicates so we've got 154 unique values so let's go ahead and remove all these here and now our list is going to contain these 13 values including this blank so we wanted to get rid of any blanks as well so we've got a list of 13 values that we want to delete from this um, data set all right so now we are going to create our sub let's call this sub delete rows based on list and we'll declare our variables. We'll have, we have two worksheets here. So we've got worksheet one as worksheet, worksheet two as worksheet. And then we're gonna have to count the number of rows we have on each sheet. So we'll just do a row count one as long and a row count two as long. And then we're also going to have variables i and j, both as long. All right, so let's set our worksheet one equal to this workbook dot sheets. And then the name of the sheet is sheet one, but let's change the name of the sheet. Let's call this um, stock screener. And let's call this sheet, since we want to remove sectors or industry, sorry, rename to industries to delete. And um, I said 13 earlier, but there's only 12 because this is our header. Um, so we actually have 12 values we want to delete. Okay, so this is going to be equal to stock screener and then worksheet two, this workbook, sheets, industries to delete. All right. So now we're gonna activate our first worksheet, or so we're gonna activate the second worksheet. We're gonna be activating worksheet two. So we're gonna be activating this worksheet. And what we wanna do is get the row count. So that's gonna be WS2 cells. And we want rows count, we want a rows count. And we wanna start at column A. And we're gonna be counting up up from the bottom so XL up if we were to count down we'd stop here where we see the first blank so we'd only have eight values so we want to count from the bottom that way we get all or all of our values here all right so then we've got that row count and then we're gonna do the same thing with sheet one so we're gonna activate sheet one so this should be WS1 row count one WS1, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna be counting up from the bottom. So we're gonna have 7,832. All right, so now we're gonna have a for loop. So for, for J is equal to one to row count two. So this is gonna be counting the list on the second tab, next J at the bottom of the loop. So as we're going through the list, we're gonna be checking it against 
our um, rows here. And like I said, this is the header, this industry. So because we're using that as a header, what we're going to do is start J at 2. That way we're going to be starting from this cell and then going down. So if you don't have a header, you'll just use J equals 1. All right, so then you want I to equal 2. And once once we say that, we're going to go into a do while loop. So do while I is less than or equal to row count 1. So now we're dealing with the stock screener page. And then we're going to end our loop with the loop. So the end of a for loop is the next, and the end of a do while loop is loop. All right, so inside of this do while loop, we're going to say um, if sales i, so i is going to start at 2, so we're going to be here. And this first parameter is going to be vertical, the second one's horizontal. So we need to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 to industry column. So cells I11, if that equals WS2, so if that equals worksheet 2, cells here, we want this cell right here. So that's going to be cells J1. So you see here, um, our row is going to continue to change, but our column is static. So we're looking at column 11, and we're going down in this loop. We're looking at column 1 on this tab, and we're going to be going down with J. All right, so if that equals the text in that cell, then, and we can end our if, then what we want to do is delete row I entire row delete all right and because we're doing that when we delete that row unfortunately the next row we skip as we're looping through so we're gonna have to say I is equal to I minus 1 to prevent that and then we're also going to have to change our row count because our row our entire data set is going to get smaller as we delete rows so our row count is also going to change so row count 1 is now going to equal to row count one minus one. All right. And then after we exit this if, as we are looping through i, we have to iterate i, otherwise we'll be caught in an infinite loop. So we're going to say i is equal to i plus one. And we don't have to do that for j because that's what's happening here in this loop. Next j is doing the same thing as this i equals i plus one. So the i is going to increase, and as it increases, we're going to be going down the rows and then. Once we uh, break through this loop, we're going to go to the next row on this tab and then check the same data set against the next item. And it just continues until we get to the bottom of the list. So now we can go ahead and run. And what we want to do, just to uh, reiterate, is we're looking at the industry column for any of these values. So we should be seeing electrical products go away, these blanks go away, and all that. So let's go ahead and run. There you go. All those are gone. So if I were to like do a uh, check the filter here, we have these values left, but none of these values are going to include any values from this list. So um, just to make it easier to, to capture, let's pick um, this column just because there's fewer values. So we have sector, right? So let me change this to sector. And then we're going to change our tab name. Let's just make it generic. So we'll just say items to delete. So we'll have to change our code items to delete. And instead of having a header here, let's get rid of the header. And that means we're going to have to start our J at 1 because there's no header. And then instead of looking in column K, we're going to look in column J for sector. So let's grab these sectors real quick. Copy. Let me paste them here. And then let me delete 
any duplicates so we can see all of our unique values and then to choose the ones that we want to delete. So let's let's delete these values here. So we'll do that. I'll move this up to the top. So now we want to delete these six sectors. All right, so because we're looking in sector J instead of K, that's gonna be 10 columns over. So we're gonna change this to 10. So now, if when I filter, I have all these values after we filter, six of them should be gone. So let's go ahead and run it. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that filter. And you see we are only down to these six. So um, just real quick, let me grab it one more time. And then you can also see that our list is getting smaller and smaller. We only have 4,000 values here now. So if I grab sector one more time, paste it, and then remove the duplicates. Let's make it so we've only got one left. So let's only leave technology. So. We're gonna let's copy this, paste it over technology, remove the header, delete this last one. So this should only so now after we run this macro the last time, we should only we should only have one sector here. Boom, there you go. All technology. So you could use this for like removing serial numbers and the list can be as long as you want. So if you got a um, data set where there's a bunch of random values that you wanna make sure you get rid of, you can just list them and as you can accumulate more and more, the list continues to grow and you can remove any number of uh, values you want, including blanks. So uh, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.